I'm Cassandra, and I want to welcome you to West Point on the Eno City Park, one of two cultural history sites that Durham Parks and Recreation manages. West Point is 404 acres of open space full of natural and cultural history right in the middle of Durham. With two miles of the Eno River spanning its width, miles of hiking trails, numerous picnic areas, the Hugh Mangum Museum of Photography, the West Point Grist Mill, and the McCown Mangum House, there really is something for everyone. The park is located 15 minutes north of downtown Durham and 10 minutes north of I-85. Our gates are open from 8 a.m. to sunset every day of the year. No matter the season, folks come to enjoy splashing in the river when it's warm, a quiet hike when it's cold, or simply to enjoy nature. But you may be wondering about the park's history. Before the English came and claimed this land, the Eno Indians called this place home. The same natural resources that made this a bountiful place for them, the springs, the river, rich floodplains for hunting and fishing and growing food, and an easy river crossing, also led the Europeans to build the first water-powered grist mill just upstream from here in 1752. Michael Sinnott's mill operated just upstream from this spot in the years surrounding 1752. Later, two men in the 1770s, right before the American Revolution, built the mill here. It would later become known as the West Point Mill. This mill was in operation on and off from the 1770s until 1942, when a flood damaged parts of its critical infrastructure. During those 175 years, several white men and a woman owned and operated the, the mill with both free and enslaved labor. The mill served as the center of a thriving agricultural community where folks came to have their corn and wheat ground into flour, timber milled into lumber, purchase things like sugar, shoes, farm machinery, coffins, window panes, and the like. Attend political speeches, pay taxes and get their mail, and get caught up on the gossip and have a drink. If you visit the mill today, we aren't serving anything stronger than a soda, but you can watch our millers lead grinding demonstrations and learn more about this history. We're standing in front of the McCown Mangum House. In the 1850s, John K. McCown built this home for his young family. McCown owned the mill and the surrounding land at the time. He relied on the labor of enslaved men and women to care for his family, operate his mill, and run the farm. In the 1890s, the Mangum family purchased the farm in the house and lived here until 1968. Their primary income was from the farm, but their home was surrounded by an extensive garden and orchard. By all accounts, they and their children were eccentric and artistic. Today, the house serves as our park offices and where we store our artifact collection. The Mangum's oldest son, Hugh, became an itinerant photographer and often returned to Durham throughout his travels. Volunteers in the 1970s discovered his dark room and hundreds of glass plate negatives here inside the pack house while preparing the Mangum property to become the park it is today. The Hugh Mangum Museum of Photography documents his life and his work. If you want to learn more about the park's history, our cultural heritage staff lead park tours and mill demonstrations on Saturdays and Sundays from April through mid-December. These tours are free and start at the McCown Mangum House. We hope you will join us. For more information, visit our website at dprplaymore.org.